file is made, we want to start to make our, our drawing. It'll be one drawing file that have five different sheets on it. So under the uh, Inventor Pro here, we want to make a new, and you're familiar with the part, but we want to make a drawing, but don't pull up the standard Inventor drawing. You want to go to the new file. We're going to create it from a list of templates. And from the Davidson Custom, the Davidson Custom template, you'll see the IDW, and that's the file, that's the drawing that we want to bring up. It's a size uh, size A drawing that we want to use for all of our projects. You have to input your data here. I'm going to call this project title uh, Puzzle Cube. And there's my Davidson custom template. And this is a, a eight and a half by eleven sheet, which is a size A. There's other sizes we'll use for other projects, but the eight and a half by eleven is a size A. And the first thing we need to do is we need to bring in one of the views of our of our parts. So under the base, uh, I was working on my yellow part. I want to bring my white part. So the you go to the browser here. And I need to go uh, find my folder where I'm storing all my uh, my my parts, and I'm going to bring in the uh, the white piece. So I'll double click on the white, and it's going to bring it in under the front view here. It'll if I want to see what the current view I was working on was uh, was the ISO. There's the top view, but I want to bring in the front view, and you place it. And you just put right click, OK. Now, once the front view is placed, you go to project it. And you take that front view, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There's my projection up. There's my projection right. There's my projection, my isometric. If we wanted a left view, or if we wanted a bottom view, but there's my uh, front top right, and nothing has happened yet. So you go right click, create. Now it's placed them there, and you see if I move the the front view, the top and the right are linked with it. Now, on your ISO, I'm going to go up here, and I want this to be shaded. So you go right-click, Edit View, and under the Edit View, there's some of your different uh, different styles, and the one, the little can there, I want to have that shaded. Click OK, and it just shaded. Now, it's shaded white. Uh, if it was red, it would come up red. If it was green, it would come up green, the same as my, as my uh, part piece. So now we want to... Uh, uh, the other item would be if I want to change the scale on this, I could go again, right click and edit view. And right now, my scale is one to one on these. If I wanted to make it two to one, notice I made those two to one, which is too big for this case. I want to go back to change that back to one to one. But that's how you could, you could change your scale under edit view and get to the scale there. Now we need to dimension the drawing, so I go and I have to double click on the annotate and I can either hit dimension from my ribbon or the shortest way is right click, right click dimension and I want to dimension my widths here so I can go from point to point or I could go from this line to this line and pull it straight up and there's my there's my two and a quarter inches I want to dimension this width right here of 1.5 that makes that 0.75 I need one of these two so let me pull this one I can go from point to point from line to line or I could pull that line straight down if I go from there to there and there's my 0.75 dimension and I need to get my heights and from point to point there's a height of 2.25 I can just grab this line that should be inch and a half and pull that over and I need one last dimension of my 0.75. So if I go from point to point, and say, oh, you just screwed up. Uh, you can never dimension to a hidden line. So I press escape to get out of dimension mode, delete that last dimension, and I can put that over here on the contour of the feature. So to get back in dimension, right click dimension, and I can pull, pull this line over there. Now, notice it didn't leave me my gap there. All my all my extension lines have a gap between the object line. And because I pulled that line through, I should have went point to point or line to line and would have left us an extension there. So I press escape. Let me get rid of that one. And let me get back into my dimension again from line to line. Now I pull that over there and there at least all my proper uh, uh, proper extension lines. There's only one depth right here. So I'm going to 
My fig, my white puzzle piece is properly dimensioned. Now I'm going to save it. 